It's taken months of negotiation, but US President Joe Biden now believes he has a framework for his signature piece of legislation. He went to Capitol Hill to sway any last minute doubters, urging his party to take the win. The bill as it stands doesn't deliver all he wanted. It's been trimmed down from 3.5 trillion to 1.75 trillion. He's lost free community college. He's lost paid family leave. He's lost a drive on prescription drug prices. But the president is convinced this will help the US recover from the economic shock from COVID and help ordinary Americans. Good morning. We spent hours and hours and hours over months and months working on this. No one got everything they wanted, including me. But that's what compromise is. That's consensus. And that's what I ran on. That's pretty cool. Some of the things this bill provides, free preschool for three and four year olds, improved care for the elderly, and huge tax credits to move Americans away from fossil fuels towards renewable energy. And the 10 year cost of those charges will be paid for with higher taxes for those earning more than $10 million a year and companies with more than $1 billion a year profits. But Republicans don't like it. Trillions of dollars in spending, major expansions of government agencies, and even more inflation that will lead to higher costs for all Americans. Those are all on the table. No climate, no deal. There are plenty of Democrats who wanted much more in the bill, but there simply wasn't the votes across the board to push them through. Joe Biden wanted the win. It's not the deal he promised, not the deal he campaigned on, but it does deliver on a few key issues. He hopes it'll help with important elections next week and also with the midterms now exactly one year away. And he can go to the G7 in Italy and COP26 in Glasgow and tell other world leaders that the US is doing something significant about climate change and they have to follow. Now all he has to deliver is a united party and a successful vote. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, at the White House.